Happy New Year, everyone. We are kicking off the first video of the year, 2023. It's hard to believe. With a beautiful white booth from the Apple Barrel in Oxford, Alabama. And we were looking back at um, analytics from last year. And our most popular videos were those with the white spaces. So we thought we would feature this booth. I call it the white booth, but it doesn't have a name. I talked to the ladies in the store and they said it doesn't have a, a name, but it is a retired couple, husband, wife, and they're just so incredibly talented. And I thought you guys might enjoy this video, but if you want to skip ahead to the three minute mark, that is where the actual video starts that I shot last week. But right now I'm just going to talk through some of this. I have been crushing on this booth since 2008. I'm not sure how long they've been there, but 16 years that I know of. And I love how they took the old doors and created a wall. I really wanted this old rounded door, but it was a display. But he is so talented. He builds out all of these structures. And of course, this is um, a display. And the old Boxley Inn sign is a display also. I actually thought that was the name of the booth <laughs> the first time I went there. But anyway, I thought you guys would enjoy seeing this. It's eye candy for all of us shabby chic lovers. And she does such a great job of pulling it all together and making everything look so beautiful. Love those old chippy doors on the back wall. They didn't have walls, so they kind of created their own with the old doors and that pergola. And then he did the um, swing out of old headboards. But these photos are just kind of throughout different years, so it's going to kind of jump around a little bit. But again, if you want to jump ahead to the video, go to the three minute mark. And I love how she always takes her um, flowers and displays and urns and vases because not all customers have the vision to see how it would look in their home and greenery is so important it makes things look homey and it helps customers to envision how it could look in their space but here's the thing you know we always say you guys need branding and you need a booth name but they're defying the odds here. They don't have a booth name and no branding, and they don't specialize in a lot of smalls. It's mostly furniture, and we always preach smalls pay the bills, have tons and tons of smalls, but they really don't. And whatever they're doing, it's working because they're killing it and have been since 2008, probably longer than that. But now here is the video. I did this video last week, right before Christmas. I noticed they didn't decorate for Christmas. It's still beautiful. All of that chippy goodness and something must have sold on the green wall, but everything's just so, so pleasing to the eye. She's very good with vignettes. I met her one time, but I know she probably wouldn't remember me. It was years and years ago. But I'll put the link in the description box below for the Apple Barrel in case you guys are local and you want to visit. It's a huge store. They have an upstairs. Not a lot upstairs, but it's mostly downstairs. They also have one in Bremen, Georgia, 